and processed. Do you want this tip of the iceberg slide? Which, by the way, was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free? Then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash SlideCow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be a fun one. We're going to combine a business model with a design effect. The best of both worlds, right guys? Let's analyze this slide for a second. We're going to make a paper slit effect as you can see right over here. To the left of that slit effect is some text. This text is basically a summary of your slide. It's what your slide is talking about. And to the right of that slit effect, as you can see, are some boxes coming out of that paper slit, okay? And these boxes are going to be points that support the text. They're right over here. All in all, it creates a really cool design effect while also maintaining a good flow of communication across the entire slide. Now, personally, I would recommend making this slide when you're presenting some options, but you could do what you want with it. Anyway, let's get started. Step one, create the slit effect. All right, let's assume that you have a blank slide right in front of you. You're gonna to go to insert, and you're gonna to go to shapes, and you're gonna click on the rectangle. You're going to draw this rectangle just like this. Now remember, you can resize it later. Don't worry about that too much. Bring it down a bit, bring it up a bit like that, and you should have a square that looks something like this. Remove the outline and make it white, or whatever color the canvas is on your slide. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to shape effects, you're going to go to shadow, and then you're going to click on this option right here, which is called offset right. When you're done with that, you're going to go back into shape effects, you're going to click on shadow again, and then you're going to go into shadow options. You'll be presented with some options on the right side here. Now you can play around with these options however you'd like, but for the purpose of this video, please just follow along. Set the color to black, just black. Set the transparency to 50%. Set the size to 100%. Set the blur to 15 points. Set the angle to zero and set the distance to 10. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to insert, shapes, rectangle, and then make another rectangle just on top of the shadow effect of the square that you just made over here. Set the color of that rectangle you just put out to white, and then make sure it does not have an outline. Then go to shape effects, go to soft edges, and go to soft edges options. Over here, you're going to set the size to 15, just like that. When you're done, drag down the rectangle, i.e. you're increasing its size basically, until you see some sort of fade effect, something that looks like this. So that's the top of your paper slit effect. It looks really cool. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom. So click on the rectangle, press up Control shift and just drag it downwards like so. Make sure it's covering everything. Let's just make sure that one's covering everything as well. Just like that. And drag that up a bit. Okay, there's your paper slit effect. Done. Step two, add the summary text. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to insert, click on text box, and just draw out anything on your canvas. Make sure it's positioned to the left of your paper slit. Now, just to save time, I'm going to put down any random text here. But what you should be doing is writing out some text that is about this slide in particular. It could be a piece of analysis, it could be some summary, it could be whatever you want it to be. Just make sure it's about this slide in particular. So I'm going to set the font size to 14 and I'm going to justify the text and I'm just going to reposition it somehow just to make the text look good just like that that thing that looks great and that's the second step done step three make your boxes all right guys here comes the fun part go to insert go to shapes and then click on the parallelogram which is over here draw it out and make sure it looks something like this now note two things here the left part of the shape is overlapping with the text. That's intentional, and I'll show you why I did that in a bit. The second part is, what you need to make sure of, is that you have enough 
shapes for your paper slip. You don't want to make too many shapes, otherwise it'll create an indesirable design effect on your PowerPoint slide. So you can make as many shapes as you want, but just make sure you have enough for your paper slip. If you have too many shapes, you can either decrease the size of the shapes or you can increase the size of the paper slip. Anyway, with your shape set out like this, right click it and click on send to back. Make sure the shape does not have an outline and change the color of the shape to whatever you'd like. When you're done, click on the shape and press on control shift and drag it to the right slightly. This way you have two copies of the exact same shape. Change the color of this shape to white. And then when you're done with that, click on shape fill, click on more fill colors and set the transparency to 50%. Now decrease the width of the shape so you get this cool looking badge effect over here. Something that looks like this. All right, cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the number. So we're going to go to insert, we're going to go to text box, and we're just going to draw it out like this. And I'm just going to type in 01. Just keep in mind you can do whatever you want in that area. Some people prefer icons. I personally prefer numbers so that the audience can refer to the point. So they're going, like, going to point 3 or going to point 4. You know what I mean? So I'm going to change the font of this. And I'm going to increase the size of this and center it actually. Until I get something desirable. Something that looks like that actually. That looks nice. Cool. I'm going to change the color of this to white. And there we go. There's our number. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text to the text box. Now remember, this text in the text box over here is supporting the text on the left side over here. Just keep that in mind. Go to insert, go to text box and just draw it out like this. Make sure that you don't have any text on the shadowy part of the paper slip. I'm going to change the font size to 14, put a title over here, and then I'm just going to take this sentence over here just to save some time and just write that out like that. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna bring that up like this and change the font of this to something else. So I'm just gonna put in hands on black caps like always. And I'm gonna change the color to this and justify the text like so. Drag it out like that. All right, guys, perfect. Now what I need to do is make three more of these. So I'm going to highlight everything and press on Control G to group it up. Then I'm going to right click on the same group and click on Send to Back. Now to make three more copies. To do this, hold Control Shift and drag down your cursor once, twice, three times. Don't worry about positioning for now, we can fix that in a bit. We're going to highlight all of the groups. We're going to click on Arrange, Align, Distribute Vertically and then right click and go to send to back. Now you'll notice over here that you see some sort of glow effect. We don't want that. We don't want that. So we're going to move this up a bit, this little shape up a bit like so. And we're going to move this shape up a bit like so until that glow effect is gone. It's gone now. So we're going to highlight it again. All four, click on range, click on line, and click on distribute vertically one more time. That way it looks absolutely perfect. So I'm going to change the number here to two. Just draw it out more and then three. Draw that out more and four. Draw that out more. And just to add a little artistic flair, I'm going to change the color of this shape to a darkish green color. You see it over here and over here. Voila! We are done. Now obviously, if you want to play around with the size and positioning of this slide, that's absolutely fine. Click on the shape that's meant to be your shadow shape and just increase the size from both ends. Something that looks like this, right? And then click on the soft edge shape and just decrease the size a little bit until you get a desired effect that you want. Just be aware of what's going around in your slide so you make sure that there's nothing overlapping when you're doing this. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I think that looks great. So I'm going to move this guy upwards just a bit. Now I don't want to go too far up because I don't want that glowy effect on my little shape, right? So I'm going to move him down just a bit. I think this looks fine. And then I'm going to move this guy just a little bit downwards like so. And then I'm going to highlight everything. Well, not everything, just these four shapes really. Go to arrange, go to align, and then distribute vertically. And there you go. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Your constant support is what drives me to make these videos on a weekly basis. I promise that this is going to be an epic journey that we're going to make together. Please note that the SlideCow website is now up and you have a chance to get that free slide that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So please do sign up to our newsletter and just take a gander around our website. It's really cool. A lot of effort was brought into doing that. Anyway guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.